didn't have sex with this person is Jesus, then expect that man to lie about it. When I first met William, he was making his way into the music industry, and I fell in love with his ambition. She was dope. I liked the style, I liked the energy. After six years, I thought his friends became my friends. Delana didn't understand how the music industry worked. You can't go in there to make friends. William became controlling. He didn't want me to be around a lot of people. She interacts with guys in my circle that have ill will for me, and it affects my career. I just need her to be respectful of my boundaries. But I love her, and I want it back. I'm here today to tell you that you don't run my life. You can't tell me who I can hang out with. When you step over into my lane or my entertainment field and you create drama, I got to deal with the consequences. I thought that when we got together as a couple, your people would become my people as well. I didn't see a purpose for you to be around that rap scene. Do you think Kim Kardashian is out hanging around with Kanye's friends? I can't with you. Welcome to show business. Okay. Yeah, you have to still conduct yourself in a manner that doesn't damage my career. What did I do? Well, that was so terrible. Everybody's talking about your sexual escapades. Sexual escapades, okay. Yeah, there can't be this many people smiling in my face, and so they did some underhanded crap behind my back. There's always people that are doing underhanded stuff. Right, so you're gonna go hang out with guys. If the only other person there that can say you didn't have sex with this person is Jesus, and expect that man to lie about it. But you should know me better to judge like, hey, that's not something Lana would do. I never thought that you were out cheating, but you're making me look dumb and people are talking about it. That lack of trust and you pointing the finger saying, you can't hang out with this person, that just ticks me off. You put yourself in a setting. You don't know the host of this party. You don't know who else is at the venue. I do. I've known these people way longer than you and they have grudges. So what's the only way of hurting me? getting to me. Exactly. These people have malicious intentions toward me. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call me. If there's an argument between us, you'll take it upon yourself to turn your phone off or go ghost on me. And me not being able to talk to you, I worry about you. This seems like I'm being insecure or pushy, and I'm not trying to tell you who you can and can't hang out with, per se. I'm saying this particular guy or this particular girl is bad and they're using you as a tool to get me. Well, I wish you would have explained this, how you're explaining it now when we were in a relationship because it's a lot clearer, but you can't control what happens to me. I mean, I just worry about your safety. And I'm sorry. I trust you and I love you. We had terrible communication, but I wanted to work. I wanted things to work. It's really hard for me to look at life without you. I just want to know if there's any way we could start again and try to work towards something. I just wanted us to have the ideal relationship, and you could never give me that. You know that I have love for you, but you're selfish, and we don't belong together. So, no, I can't be in a relationship with you.